In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the King of the Hill chess variant. It, sometimes playing chess over and over and over again, it can get a little dry, get a little boring. It's just way too much strategy. But sometimes I like to unwind down and play King of the Hill. So King of the Hill, in order to win King of the Hill, you can still win by the normal checkmating rules, stalemate still occurs, and even timing out still happens. But there's an additional way to win as well, is that if you can get your king to one of the four central squares right here, e4, d4, e5, and d5, you win the game. I'm going to show you what an example of winning King of the Hill looks like. As we can see, we're going to have to continue on with the, avoiding the legal moves where the king cannot walk into check. As we see here that the bishop is guarding these two squares right now. The king can't just simply go into the e4 square because the bishop is guarding this and the pawn is guarding this square as well. But if, if it's black to move, black has one more move left to be able to win the game and it's by simply moving to d4. It made it to one of the four central squares. Again, if a piece is guarding that square, the king cannot walk into it. You have to find a way to get rid of that piece in order to allow the king to be able to come in there. I hope that you take the time to enjoy this chess variant. I personally like this chess variant very much. Like it's a great way to wind down and I'm always very curious. I enjoy just sacrificing my pieces so that way the center can open up and then just marching my king forward. It's very weird and it's very interesting to see your king start marching towards the middle, but you have another way of winning. And it actually just kind of teaches you a little bit about like what it means to really and truly control the four centers squares as we can see uh, being able to control the four center squares allows you to control the game but in king of the hill is very fun um, my suggestion is do not play king of the hill as a quote-unquote long game if possible use your phone app go buy a chess clock you can uh, click one of the links down below this is one of my favorite chess clocks that i personally like to use in order to play king of the hill i play it as a blitz game any more than uh, five minutes uh, per player is it's too long. I like to make these very quick games because even though if I lose in a King of the Hill match, we know that we can just play it over and over and over again. So tell me what you think about the King of the Hill variants. Uh, do you enjoy this variant very much? And see if uh, you can play with your fellow uh, friends and family and see what they think about it as well. Again, you want to get your king either to the middle of the board or you can find a way to checkmate them. Of course, by marching king closer towards the middle, you are more prone to checkmates. But if you can somehow get to these uh, four center squares, you'll be able to win the game. Thank you very much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing all your future King of the Hill games. Alright, I'll, I'll see you later and see you in the next video.